Hey, this is Ralph. And in this video, I want to create a easy to do habit tracker in Google Sheets. So I had a, a need the other day to create a little habit tracker and I wanted to be able to just check off some skills and have Google count that up to see which particular habits I'm doing well at accomplishing on a daily basis and which ones are a little bit lack and which ones are a little bit lacking. So let's see, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm already logged into Google Drive, of course, and I'm going to jump right into a new Google Sheet. And let's zoom in on this, make it nice and chunky. There we go. Now, of course, lots of opportunities for how you want to set this up. Now, what I did just for designing mine is I just went to uh, Google Images. I just did a search for um, Habit Tracker just to kind of get a visual of what's a nice way to lay it out. And you'll get plenty of ideas that way for sure. But I started off just by having a habits list over here. And I'll just say habit one. We'll put in some, some habits there. Now in the B column, this is where I wanted to have the count because I wanted to be able to count the number of times I was doing this habit right here in this column. And then in column C and on, have the days. I'll just do day one through day six. For mine, I did a two week period because I want to see if I can hit all of these habits multiple times over a two week period. You could do 30 days, 60 days, or just a few days, depending on what they are. So now I've got my habit list. Bring this a little bit over. I want to go ahead and easily insert a bunch of check marks into all these cells. Oh, before doing that, I am going to just adjust the height of these rows. And then I'll go ahead and adjust the width of these columns, make them a little bit more square shaped. Now I'm going to select the cells that are ultimately going to contain my check boxes and head over to the insert menu. And checkbox is an option down there. Perfect. Well, that was painfully easy. And now we've got little boxes that we can check and uncheck. However, just checking the boxes isn't helpful enough. I also want to be able to count them. Now, check boxes in Google Sheets, in fact, in the same in all areas, it's a, a true and false Boolean, just true or false, basically. So we just need to count the number of true scenarios. So in the count cell, I'm going to write equals count if. The range in question will be the range of cells for the first habit. Comma. The criteria that I actually want to count is true. Now notice I'm not putting the word true in quotation marks here. That's because if we use quotation marks, it's a literal string. We're actually looking for the word true. But the true value without the quotes, it'll be a Boolean. So I'm counting the range, in my case, C2 through H2, to see if there are any true responses. And when I press enter, I have a zero. I'm going to take a moment, just go ahead and select these cells. And I will center them horizontally and center them vertically. And let's see, let's go ahead and um, make the font a little bigger. Well, we should be able to test. So if I start to check the boxes, we'll see that my count is counting appropriately. Once that looks good, I'll just autofill that count. And so now my other habits can count. Now, once you take care of this, next step might be to do a little conditional formatting. We've got some time. Let's try it out. So I'm going to select the cells that contain my counts. And I'm going to head over to Format, Conditional Formatting. I'm going to apply it to the range that I've selected. And my format is going to be if the value is greater than or equal to. So in this scenario, I have about seven days. And let's say a success for me is going to be completing this habit five out of seven days. Great. So I'll say greater than or equal to five. And if that's the case, I am going to put in a green fill and a dark green text. I'll click done. 
I can close the conditional formatting rules and check another box. And once I hit five, I'm going to get that green on green cell formatting. Same thing for a new one. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. So pretty easy to do. Just create your spreadsheet. And remember, it's under insert checkbox. Thanks for hanging out with me.